Welcome everyone to Jacksonville, Florida, outside Alltel Stadium, the world's largest outdoor, outdoor cocktail party. And inside, a matchup between two top 10 teams, the Georgia Bulldogs ranked number 10, and the Florida Gators ranked number five. Sean McDonough with Todd Blackledge, along with Michelle Tafoya, delighted to have you with us. They've been playing here in Jacksonville every year since 1933, with one exception during World War II when there was no game. One of the great rivalries in college football. This border war between Georgia and Florida, and it's underway. As Brett Kerouac kicked off for Georgia. Florida won the toss and elected to receive, and John Capel, a very important game in the SEC East. Florida still in control there by virtue of its victory over Tennessee. If the Gators win out, they're going to go to the SEC championship game against the West Division winner in Atlanta. Johnson's right, Bo Carroll the running back. The Dogs bring the blitz, and it's a screen to the speedy Carroll. Breaks it. They're showing blitz again. They cut after Johnson. He dumps it off, complete to the tight end, Aaron Kay. Uh, the shotgun, the high snap handle, the hand off to Carroll. But Georgia upset Florida, and the Gators did not go to the championship game. A short pass, dumped off Spurrier in recent weeks on the sideline. Lots of running room for Carroll into Georgia territory with a first down season in their win over the Wildcats. The fade throw to Darrell Jackson. He has it with another first down. He beat Corey Robinson in coverage. Receiving yards per game. Doug Johnson's four for four. Going to the end zone a little bit too high. To emerge at wide receiver, he's not pleased with the depth of that group, but in Taylor and Jackson, he is two of the best. He has Bo Carroll. The Gators have been outstanding in the first quarter this season. And they're off to a quick start today. Johnson throws. Travis Taylor with a touchdown. Steve Spurrier told us this week he thought his team was prepared to play their best, and they sure look it on this first series. Mix and run and pass. You've got man on man. Travis Taylor back from the injury against Jeff Harris. A lot of field to work with, no help inside, and a good throw from Doug Johnson. Of a brilliant game against Kentucky last week as they piled up 49 points. The throwback screen. Terrence Edwards, their leading receiver, with a lot of running room out of bounds. And your brother, the former standout running back of Georgia, Robert Edwards. The pitch to Patrick Pass to the 30. Out of bounds at the three yard line. Carter, touchdown. Option again. Option again. They optioned two plays in a row and they got the touchdown. And we've seen evidence of that already. Thank you, Michelle. Alex Willis, the motion man. Carroll pulled down three times for 44 yards, including a 42-yard touchdown run at 266 pounds. Daryl Jackson, the reception, and the stiff arm to get away from Corey Robinson. Often Johnson changes plays today, given that Spurrier has criticized his decision-making at the He does. Again, a bunch of dogs up around the line. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Jackson... Florida best in the conference on third down conversions. And that pass is incomplete. Him away from the line of scrimmage. Quincy Carter on first and long throws dropped. After the big win over Nebraska, perhaps an emotional letdown, but Iowa State's a much better team this year. Jasper's in one of those ball games. Designed running play for Carter on third down and long. It's quarter. Each team scored in its first possession, and the weather turned nasty. Spurrier said he wasn't sure if Johnson would be reluctant to do that. After Spurrier publicly questioned his decision making, that one apparently an excellent decision as the strike fired and completed to Daryl Jackson on his way to another 100-yard game. Fullback. It is the fullback, quarterback with great distinction in college. Both there it is again. as well. There's the same play. <laughs> <laughs> Quarter to 7 7 game from the Georgia 29, third down and 15. They rely on the running ability of Alex Willis. And only five yards, but it might make a difference into this breeze. Chandler. Good. From 40 yards out. That set up the 40 yard go ahead field goal by Jeff Chandler. 
The fake by Carter, and he throws say what's on his mind. Two of the most candid coaches in college football. This is Patrick Pass on the draw on second and ten. Gators have dominated this rivalry in the 90s, winning eight of the last nine meetings. On third down, Quincy Carter converts. The punch snaps, all of those things become much more important now. The play fake by Carter, and he, Quincy Carter. Two tight ends in the ball game. A pass deflected by Alex Brown, and it is incomplete. The quarterback, but they did recruit him with the thought he'd be a wide receiver in college, and he is. Third down and ten. Carter throws a wobbly pass, but it is caught for a first down by Randy McMichael. The tight end, a very important part of the Jim Donnan offense. Jasper Sanks from six. Sanks. 6.30 in the morning, had his own little mini triathlon. Moran Haynes in at fullback, leading the way for Sanks, and he struggles for the first down. With Jordan Alexander leading the way. Carter on the option. We haven't seen his... They started at their own 19. Carter has a hole, has a touchdown! Alabama had 41 minutes in time of possession. Johnson throws to Darrell Jackson, Tennessee, and the ball's went through the entire season undefeated on their way to the SEC title. And third down and four. Bo Carroll stops short of the first down. Charmed by the quarterback. Johnson keeps, has the first down and more. Rare carry by Johnson. Nearly midway through the second quarter. Georgia leads 14 to 10. Johnson throws, and it is almost intercepted. INT. Out of the shotgun on second and 10. The screen for Bo Carroll. Cuts back inside at the 45. Bounce at seven for a while. Now it's Georgia on top. But Florida on the move. Johnson throws short. Alex Willis. And both hit around 200 in their minor league careers. Here's Gillespie on the delay. Collard down third down and four. They haven't converted a third down today. Here comes the blitz. They throw the screen there. Kenny the tight end inside the ten and down inside the five yard line. The pitch to Gillespie. Great move and a touchdown. Terrific job by Gillespie when it looked like he'd be dropped for a loss. Touchdown. Robert's eighth rushing touchdown. Trouble with the snap as Billy Young couldn't get a grasp on it. The pitch to Jasper Sanks. Jasper Sanks having a much better year this year than last. Carter escapes the rush and he'll take off. First down, out of bounds. Rushing last week in their win, 87 yards, well on the way this week. Brown pursuing from the backside. Carter throws across his body incomplete. Some pass. They have a very young receiving core. Carter throws much too high. Third down and ten. Carter to the far sideline. Another high throw. Guys, and they've made it work. And it's working very well. And Closing in on a minute left. Terrence Edwards, a high school quarterback. Looked like he wanted to throw, but did the punt into the breeze. Design run for Kyder, and he is driven back by Alex Brown for a loss on the play of two. Who it is rushing as he ran for 51 yards. He pitches it to Patrick Pass, and he's close to a first down. Terrence Edwards, the wide receiver, lined up in the backfield and shifted out. Patrick Pass up the middle, stopped by Alex Brown. Scores at the DeKalb County rushing record in Georgia. And the play we're talking about is third and seven for Georgia. Just shy of their own 35, the pass batted down. As a last resort, but we are told that he is coming back into this game for his first action since Kentucky, Sean. Johnson trying to set up a screen, and it's a big loss. Rob Roberts correctly. Second and 20 after the loss of 10. Johnson throws near side, Daryl Jackson. Throws, and it is intercepted. 
by Tim Wansley. Well, there's that first turnover you were talking about. It comes at the 44-yard line. They'll mark it at the 45. Number one in the nation, the Georgia Bulldogs. Jasper Sanks here in Jacksonville. Sanks again. Hand off to Sanks. He came out of high school the same year as Tim Couch and Jim Donaldson. They were clearly the two best high school quarterbacks in the country that year. Up for grabs and knocked down. Making noise, but for the most part, it's the Gator fans. Spurring on the defense on third and long, and the throw on the run incomplete. The Breeze is a candidate with momentum right now. Five wide receivers. Ernest Graham in the game. Start against Western Michigan this year, went for 158 yards. Here he comes again, showing his power. And Stroud are out getting a rest. More running by Florida right now. And successful running position. Johnson throws through the hands of Travis Taylor. Florida back at its own 35. And plenty of time against the three-man rush. But now Johnson is flushed and goes out of bounds. Out of the shotgun. He zips one short. 60s. He lost two out of three to Georgia. 766. He took the knocked him all over the place. They beat him up. Carter's fake the inside handoff. A great move to get away from Alex Brown. Now he throws another into Carter on third and three. They hand it to Sanks. He bounces off the hit but comes up. Started out like it was going to be a shootout. Now it's a game of field position. Trying to avoid the crucial mistake. Sanks the lone back. And he gets nothing. And unlikely that even attempt it from here. It would be about a 50-yarder. Here comes Brown. Carter cannot escape this time. The first sack of the day for Florida from Alex Brown and Gerard Warren. More than 40 years. The fake by Johnson in trouble along the end line. The ball up in the air and alertly batted to the ground. Uncle Duke is a great quarterback at Texas. And it comes. And sacked inside the five. Another third down and forever. And Bo Carroll takes it on the draw. It's this year. Brian Law right along the end line. Just did get it off. Good kick. A very good kick into the breeze. Caught by pass on the run at the 41. Trying to get outside. Good run back to the 30s. With a collarbone break. 17 to 3 down to the fourth quarter in Nashville to beat Vanderbilt. Brown looked like he was being held as he went to rush Carter. There's no flag and last eight, one for his last 11 for Carter. He throws short of a first down for the moment. They might have it now. Great effort by McMichael, the tight end. Go with a lot of two tight end sets. Sanks. Pull out. Sanks. The ball squirts out. Benny Alexander runs it back to the 19. The Georgia sideline thinks Sanks was down or had been stopped. That's the reason for the perplexed look on Jim Donnett's face. And it certainly was very close, but they're going to rule that a fumble. The first turnover committed by Georgia. Couldn't have come in a worse time for Jasper Sanks or the Georgia Bulldogs. They had momentum. They had things going their way. Their defense got him the football in great field position. And you see as he's going down, the ball comes out. Like George at the very least, be in great position for a go-ahead field goal. Bo Carroll in this series, and they weren't able to earlier in the second half. Bo Carroll takes the toss. First down and more. Alex Willis in motion. Jeff Harris goes with him. Carroll through a huge hole in the Georgia territory. And without him in the game, Florida's had success running inside. Ernest Graham. He had the lead in the first half. Johnson going deep for this year. Inside handoff to Dennis Erickson. Oklahoma now airing it out under the former assistant Bob Stoops from Florida. And there's an interception by Jeff Harris. So critical turnovers on consecutive possessions by these two teams. Travis Taylor has not had a good day. An exchange of turnovers. One 
Factor the change of field position, which gets worse for Georgia as Alex Brown buried Quincy Carter back at the 10. Play clock down to two. Carter steps up. Airs it deep and just a little bit too long. And for a quarterback who has really struggled with his accuracy today. Third and 19. He zips one. Is that a catch? No. It has tapered off to a very light drizzle now. And on first down, Graham breaks through the tackle of Kendrell Bell. On first and 10. They stay on the ground, this time with Bo Carroll. Johnson just threw a shoe to the sideline. Bo Carroll threw a big hole. He can fly. Touchdown! still not in the ball game and watch Kendrell Bell take himself away from the play and as he tries to react he's picked off by the guard right there Kendrell Bell overran the play slightly and then the speed of Bo Carroll did the rest they needed just three plays with the excellent field position Bo Carroll now up to 113 yards rushing he struggled throughout needs to find something here Carries out to the to Quincy, as we talked about earlier. Not a lot of other playmakers in the skill positions on this offense. Brown has another sack. A ball might have come loose. It did. Florida has the football at the three yard line. Buck Gurley recovered the fumble created by the hit by Alex Brown. Reminiscent of the Tennessee game, Alex Brown is in a groove. He's hobbling off now, but he has found something in the rhythm of the snap count, and he is beating everybody to the punch, whether it's the left tackle or the right tackle. That time, it was Stinchcomb again, the right tackle. He's getting off the ball quick, anticipating the count, and getting to the quarterback. And Quincy Carter is not an easy guy to sack unless you can get to him while he's still dropping back. And that's what Alex Brown has done here in the second half. Right on. Bo Carroll, the one back. Johnson with the option look, kicks it and scores himself. Well, we've seen Doug Johnson run the same kind of play twice. He got fourth and one on it. Now he gets a touchdown. Everybody talked about George's option. This isn't really an option, but it's kind of an outside quarterback sneak. And Steve Spurrier knew he had it. Go away from the middle linebacker. Jim Donnan watching this game get away from him now. Chandler adds the extra point. Well, we talked for a while about how the game was going as Donnan would have wanted it, but all of a sudden the crucial mistakes popped into the equation. Second half. The option. Peterson and Rutledge and Curse were all drafted in the first three rounds of the NFL. Draft, Patrick Pass. First half and clearly turnovers the story here in the second half. And the pass. Robert Arnon has come in at running back. Number 30. Stays on the block for Carter. He throws an interception to Alex Brown. Well, when Alex shines, yeah. he really shines. He did it against Tennessee. Then you didn't notice him very much in recent weeks. And here he is again, front and center. Well, this was a gift from Quincy Carter. Quincy was frustrated. It's been a frustrating day for him. And this is Alex right here rushing the passer. He's actually blocked pretty well by Arnott. But then Quincy just frustrated, just threw the ball right into the traffic, right into the stomach of Alex Brown. You wonder where he was trying to go with that ball. Chuck Marks in now at tailback. The freshman came into today's game completing 58% of his passes. Here's Marks again. Most marquee players you can, but every now and then something like that happens. So here comes Marks again. Every snap. Wonder why the clock wasn't running here in the previous play. The official on the near sideline indicated that Marks will compete among the elite. And, and he said, you know, in order to do that, you've got to be a top St. Louis Rams. A new way to start your day, the early show. 
Monday on CBS. The ball thrown into the ground by Johnson on fourth down. For some help today from Georgia, now they'll need help that is less likely to come from the remaining conference opponents on Florida's schedule. Milliken, the ball carrier, and he was drilled by Marquand Manuel. This point on out, I think that they, uh, I think they'll beat Florida State in games. I think they're certainly in recent weeks. Brett Milliken stopped again for no gain. Alex Brown re-emerging as a major force on the Florida defense today. Yeah, he really picked it up in the second half, and when Jonas Jennings went out, he really got keyed in on the pass rush and was a nightmare for Quincy Carter, causing a fumble here that set up the touchdown, and then the icing on the cake, the interception, and it was very similar to the Tennessee game. Interceptions, sacks, pressures. Alex Brown came to play today. Third and 14. Mitchell, the quarterback draw. That will likely be the final play of the game. They carry Steve Spurrier off the field. As Florida wins another, nine out of ten now over Georgia. And this rivalry that means so much to the coach. Here's Michelle with the winning coach. Coach, congratulations. Back in the SEC oh. title game. And you know, well, you're... No, we're not back yet, Michelle. <laughs> well, we got to beat Vanderbilt in South Carolina. But as well as your offense played, I mean, your defense just came up huge. Oh, our defense was story of the game second half. We sputtered around offensively, went backwards. Fortunately, we could run the ball. Bo Carroll was sensational. Alex Brown uh, had a super game. So our defense and run, running the ball won the game. Thanks, Coach. Congratulations. All right, thanks. Back to you, Sean. Florida winner. Back in a moment.